no child wants to get an extra shot. Like it or not, flu season is here and kids are going to have to get that extra shot. A new report from doctors at the Centers for Disease Control say the mist is not going to be available because it doesn't work. Good evening, everyone. A bit of sticky situation announced today. Infection control specialists are tracking the flu. They say that mist isn't protecting kids at all. Yeah, medical reporter Liz Bone has spent the day with local pediatricians. She joins us now to tell us why this is all happening. Liz? Hey guys, good evening once again. Last year, the flu shot, the actual injection, up to 65% effective at protecting against the flu. The mist, less than 3%. So this year, kids are gonna have to get the shot. The best way to share that information with your kids, ugh, boy, that's hard to tell them. So we asked the experts at TriHealth that question and how to make the best of this sticky situation. It's simply not providing enough protection for our children. That's the bottom line on the nasal mist, as it's known, according to an advisory panel to the Centers for Disease Control, which means this year, like it or not, all kids are going to be given the injectable form of the flu vaccine. For parents, well, good luck having to tell them that. I think the best way to approach it as a parent is to be completely honest with the kids. No child wants to get an extra shot. Dr. Heather Mitica is a pediatrician and a mom who says in her practice and at home, she tries to explain to children who are older, you'll feel worse if you get sick with the flu. But for Alexander, who okay? is two, it may be a little tougher to explain. The flu mist was found not to be effective at all in children ages 2 to 17. The vaccine is recommended for everyone six months or older. Like many offices, they already have this flu vaccine ready for children in the injectable form, which raises the question then, if your child had the flu mist last year and they didn't get sick, do you need to bother getting a flu injection this year? That's a great question, and I hear it a lot of times from parents. One season does not predict whether or not you might catch the flu the very next season. A number of factors go into catching the flu each year, from exposure to how well the vaccine matches the strains that are going around. <laughs> the good news, if little Alexander can stay this brave, there's likely to be a new and improved version that's not a shot coming soon to a pediatrician's office near you. I'm quite sure that they are going to eagerly pursue the option of a non-injection flu vaccine because it is so popular, particularly amongst the pediatric population. Isn't he just the coolest kid? No word on how soon we might actually have another mist again. As always, we invite your questions for providers at TriHealth. Go to local12.com, click on Ask 